Of all the constellations, Orion the Hunter is the most recognizable. In the middle of Orion's two brightest stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel, the three stars of the belt of Orion leap out at you as a short, straight row of medium bright stars. The Orion Nebula, often known as M42, can be seen once you have located the belt stars. When you look at it, you're gazing towards a stellar nursery, a place where new stars are born. Now, the amazing James Webb Space Telescope has captured some breathtaking images of the Orion Nebula, and these pictures have given scientists a more in-depth view of the constellation. And now, astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have discovered a mysterious dark cylindrical object in the Orion Nebula. So, what is this object? And how big is it? Stay till the end of the video as we answer those questions and reveal more things about the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is one of the brightest nebula in the night sky, and it is visible to the naked eye. This magnitude 4 interstellar cloud of ionized atomic hydrogen contains the trapezium, a young open cluster of four primary stars. The M42 Nebula is part of the Orion Molecular Complex, which includes the Horsehead Nebula, M78, and Barnard's Loop. It is one of the most interesting deep sky objects to capture with a telescope in terms of astrophotography. The Orion Nebula is an exquisite representation of the universe's magnificent splendor, with its rich glowing emission gas and reflected starlight. Messier 42 is one of the three stars south of Orion's belt that make up the sword of the Orion constellation. At first glance, it can appear to be merely another star, but a closer inspection, even without binoculars, will reveal a fuzzy patch. This diffuse nebula, which is the nearest active star formation area to Earth, is thought to be around 24 light years across. The majority of the objects examined by the JWST are so faint that they cannot be seen with binoculars, let alone the human eye. However, the Orion Nebula, often known as the Great Nebula, or M42, is different in this regard. It is the closest star-forming zone to Earth and appears as a fuzzy star in the constellation Orion's sword. Even a small amateur telescope can see the form of the nebula and some of the newborn stars. So picture what the most powerful space telescope ever launched can observe. Well, now you don't have to because the images have arrived. Until very recently, the Orion Nebula was a cloud of gas holding thousands of times the mass of the Sun. We could only see it since it covered any stars behind it at the time. The gas then began to condense into new stars, some of which were very big. Although the stars have not yet reached their maximum brightness, they are already emitting enough light to illuminate a large portion of the remaining gas. The Sun and Earth are considered to have formed 4.5 billion years ago in a nebula similar to this one. The nebula is around 24 light years across and 1,344 light years away, but the JWST can scan it with a resolution of about five light hours, or roughly the distance between the Sun and Neptune. This allows us to view the detail in protoplanetary disks surrounding some of the nebula's 700 or so stars that have begun to shine. Professor Els Peters of the University of Western Ontario said, These new observations allow us to better understand how massive stars transform the gas and dust clouds in which they are born, in a statement. She also noted that massive young stars emit large quantities of ultraviolet radiation directly into the native cloud that still surrounds them, and this changes the physical shape of the cloud as well as its chemical makeup. How precisely this works, and how it affects further star and planet formation, is not yet well known. The Orion Bar, a dense wall of gas and dust that runs from the image's top left to the bottom right, is the most important part of the image. The trapezium cluster, visible in the upper right corner of the photograph, is a clump of young, massive stars. This cluster's ultraviolet radiation creates a heated, ionized atmosphere that is slowly eroding the Orion Bar. The Orion Bar provides a protective environment for the molecules and dust within it, but the stellar energy from the stars is shaping a region rich in filaments, globules, and young stars. 
In fact, filaments of various shapes and sizes are strewn through the image. Another intriguing feature is the young star with the disk inside its cocoon in the upper left corner of the image. The powerful radiation field of the stars in the neighboring trapezium filter is dissipating these planet-forming disks, creating a cocoon of dust and gas around them. Almost 180 such illuminated photoevaporating disks have been discovered in the Orion Nebula, and this one, called HST-10, is the largest known. Sometime in 2017, while perusing images of the Orion Nebula, researchers stumbled upon a peculiar sight. For the first time, astronomers observed a space rock shaped like a cigar from another solar system speeding past our cosmic neighborhood. They called it the Oumuamua rock, meaning a messenger that reaches out from the distant past in Hawaiian. It was discovered in October 2017 by the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii when it passed us by and soared across our solar system, leaving us with unanswered questions. Is Oumuamua a spaceship? Or is it just a strange comet or asteroid? The astronomers then uploaded the image of the mysterious object to a huge internet database that has images and information about unidentified flying objects seen all around the world. Incidentally, it was not the first time amateur astronomers reported contact with such UFOs. As they logged each sighting, they described their encounters with this item, emphasizing its unusual length and the fact that it did not match anything in the area where it was sighted. Several theories proposed that the cigar-shaped object was a comet, or that there was an issue with the equipment used to capture the picture. But the scientists who discovered this long item instantly refuted these claims, claiming that neither space debris nor comets had previously been seen in this form in their years of astrophotography. Because of its unusual shape and motion, several scientists speculated that Oumuamua, the first object discovered traveling through our solar system, was some sort of alien technology exploring the galaxy. However, after sifting through the data, an international team of academics concluded that there is no compelling evidence to support an alien explanation. The reddish-colored Oumuamua was monitored by scientists from October 14, 2017 until January 2, 2018, after which it became too weak to detect even with the most powerful telescopes. It's about a half mile, 800 meters long, and floating through space. Weird noises have been observed in addition to the discovery of strange objects in space. According to scientists, NASA's most distant exploring spacecraft has recorded what they call humming beyond our solar system. The waves were recognized as vibrations and minuscule volumes of gas observed in the near emptiness of interstellar space by equipment on Voyager 1. The vibrations are also referred to as plasma waves. Over the course of several years, the spacecraft detected the waves at several radio frequencies. Astronomers believe the area through which Voyager 1 is traveling, known as the interstellar medium, is filled with various types of waves, both large and small. These waves can tell us about the density of the interstellar environment. Stella Ocker a doctorate student at Cornell University in New York and a member of NASA's Voyager 1 team, conducted the new study. She made the discovery by analyzing data slowly returned by Voyager 1 from around 23 billion kilometers away. Ocker told Reuters the newly identified plasma waves would be far too weak to be heard with the human ear. If we could hear the hum, it would sound like a single steady note, playing constantly but changing very slightly over time. James Cords, an astronomy professor at Cornell University and the co-writer of the study added that when the plasma waves are changed to an audio signal, the tone of the sound changes. Voyager 1 has previously discovered more intense wave movements in interstellar gas associated with solar flares. The current research, however, implies that persistent vibrations unrelated to solar activity may be typical in interstellar space. The discoveries, according to the researchers, show that there is more low-level activity in interstellar gas than previously thought. Ocker believes her research will help scientists better grasp how the interstellar medium interacts with solar wind, the sun's continual flow of charged particles. It can also give information on how the heliosphere, our solar system's protective bubble, is shaped and altered by interstellar conditions. Coming back to Orion, 
there is now even more evidence that a strange star system perched on the nose of the constellation Orion may contain the most unusual kind of planet in the known universe, a single globe orbiting three suns at the same time. With three dusty orange rings nestled inside one another, the star system known as GW Orionis, or GW Ori, which is around 1300 light years from Earth, provides a seductive target for research. The system resembles a large bullseye in the sky. Three stars can be found in the bullseye's center, with two of them locked in a close binary orbit, and the third revolving obliquely around the other two. Triple star systems are rare in the universe. But the more astronomers study GW Ori, the weirder it becomes. In a report published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters in 2020, astronomers used the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ELMA, telescope in Chile to closely examine GW Ori. The system's three dust rings were found to be out of alignment with one another, with the innermost ring oscillating unpredictably in its orbit. The team suggested that a young planet or the creation might upset the complex triple ring gravitational configurations on GW Ori. This would be the first triple sun planet, or circumtriple, discovered in the known universe if the detection is verified. However, a report published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society on September 17 offers fresh proof of the existence of this unusual planet. Based on studies of other dust rings, or protoplanetary disks elsewhere in the cosmos, the study authors used 3D simulations to explore how the mysterious gaps in the star system's rings could have formed. The researchers examined two theories, either a planet formed inside one of the rings, causing a break in the GW Ori rings, or the break resulted from the torque produced by the three rotating stars in the system's center. The researchers came to the conclusion that there was insufficient turbulence in the rings to support the star couple idea. Instead, the simulations suggest that the most likely explanation for the odd structure and behavior of the rings is the existence of a giant planet the size of Jupiter, or even many planets. So what do you think of this discovery? Let us know down in the comment section. Comment section.